I use social media to talk to the people in the district in the state. The truth is, we have one of the most uninvolved electorates in the country. We used to be fifth in the country in voting. We've dropped to 48th. So the people that are, the people just aren't as involved as they once were. So if you want to get your message out or you want to get feedback, you can't just respond back to the people that are already participating. So the place to go is the place where the people are, and that's the social media. I know that it's getting a little passe, but I like Facebook just because I'm old and I'm comfortable with it and it's there. Uh, I know even Twitter's getting a little old now. But uh, luckily, I have a lot of, uh, of, or a group of young people that are very talented, and even the things I can't pronounce, they have me on. And so um, that is really the key to, I think, uh, the generation of 40-plus uh, uh, decision makers. It's to make sure you're surrounded by uh, young people that are a lot smarter than you are. You know, the Hispanic population really is not involved in Utah politics. I mean, it is the, by far the fastest growing group within Utah. Uh, they have the ability to change our state. And we have done a pretty miserable job, we being uh, elected officials, in reaching out into the Hispanic community. So we hope that by going where uh, Hispanic people go that will be able to talk to them in their own language, their own language in the sense of Spanish as well as their own language in the way they talk and where they feel comfortable. All too often there's this kind of uh, authoritarian, this is the way the Utah Senate speaks and if you want to participate you really need to speak our language and that is a bridge to nowhere. So I feel that it's incumbent upon us to be inclusive and to go where people are rather than expect them all to come to us. Uh, right now, 46% of Hispanic young people that start high school in Utah are not going to get a diploma. And these young people are alienated to our system. Well, they are on social networks. I'm comf uh, comfortable and confident they're there. So this gives us a, a, an avenue, an opportunity to speak to a tremendously important and growing group of young people that there's just no other way for us to get to.